Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today we're going to do five dust control hacks uh, and if you're new to the channel today I invite you to subscribe uh, and let's have some fun and look at some dust control hacks that I use. A few years ago I installed this cyclone cleaner uh, and it works great but it needs a drawing power and in my case I use my old dust collector um, with the filtered bag. I replaced the bag with a little bit better bag and they have a collection bag underneath and I used just this for many many years and it worked great. The only problem was every time you took the bag off you had to struggle because there's a band that goes around it so you would take the bag off and always struggled putting the bag on. And somewhere I came across, I think this is an old magnet from a lamp or something, and I use that on the back. So I'll put it on the back, then I can slide it around, and I have another magnet, and I don't know where this one came from, but it's got a belt clip on, I think it might have come from a tape measure or something. And again, I can just take that, and once I get it on, I can just tape that, and now, wherever I put the band, I haven't taken it off yet, the band is right there, I can just slide it back on, and because I already have the bag secured with the magnets, it's much easier to put on. So magnets, another use for magnets in holding your dust collector bag. Sometimes I forget about all the different things that I've learned. You know these bags here, they're quite a heavy bag, uh, and for me they're a little bit difficult to find, and they're not cheap. And sometimes when you take them out they get torn, or when you're storing them they get torn before you can empty them. And I don't like them to be leaking, so you try and repair the holes. And the best thing for repairing plastic bag holes is this tape, it's called tuck tape. Uh, and you know what, it's not cheap tape, um, it's a little bit expensive, but you know what, this tape is probably 10 or 12 years old, and I think I've still got at least a quarter or half of it left, so it lasts a long time, but it sticks on lots of things, there's many, many things that you'll be able to use it for. It's called tuck tape, and I'll put a link for that uh, in the article, it works great. Here's a recent modification in my shop. I have a remote control on my dust collector and this is what turns it on and off. Now sometimes it's at my table saw, sometimes I'm at my router table, my jointer, all sorts of places and I need to have control of my dust collector. And I used to have strings at different places where I could hang this up, but look at what I found. Remember the hooks that I talked about a few weeks ago? For me, they have a magnetic top. If you have a, a, a hung ceiling like I do, or if you have just a wooden ceiling or something that you can put hooks in, you can put string on, you can do the same thing. And all it is, is a hook, or a loop rather like this, and it, this isn't anything fancy. I just used a, a paper clip on there, but look, it comes on there, it comes off really easy, and it sticks, and now I can move this anywhere around the workshop, wherever I'm working, and I always know where my remote control is. I don't have to be looking for it on the bench, and when I put it up, it's done. It's that simple. My dust collector comes with a four inch hose and it connects directly to my table saw and my jointer and my planer, but it doesn't connect to my bandsaw, it doesn't connect to my router, so I have to use an adapter and when you're using dust collection there are so many adapters it's amazing what you can do, but try and standardize on something and I standardized on two inch, so all of my um, machines and tools that don't connect to 4 inch, they will connect to 2 inch. And I can use my connection here to connect up to all of those. So that connects now to my bandsaw, my little bandsaw, and my router, and my sliding miter. So it makes it very convenient. But you can take this even a step further because there's all sorts of different adapters. And you know what, you can make these adapters your own. Sometimes when I'm working on my um, drill press and making a lot of dust, I can use something like this, and look, all this is here, 
and then I can use one of these adapters on my four inch hose. For example, if I'm at my drill press, I can use this and just tighten this down and then I can clamp it here, I can clamp it here, I can swing it around and do the same thing. So it'll fit almost anywhere so that I can collect my dust right at the source so I don't have to worry about cleaning up a mess later on. Well, and I also have a shop vac, and you know when I got my shop vac, I made sure that it was a standard 2-inch, because look at it now uses the same adapters as my 2-inch to 4-inch that I talked about earlier. And, you know, I can use this for cleaning the floor. I can also use this, because it's 2-inch, I can also connect it to that gray hose that we just saw in the last clip. But I really love shop vacs. It's really a handy thing to have more than a dust collector for cleaning up around my shop. What I dislike about them is they often have the connection here. So this is where you hook up the hose to, um, to, to be sucking up the air. And they usually exhaust straight out the back because in some cases you need to connect the hose to the back for an exhaust. But what I did with mine, I got someone to make me a little buffer here. Watch this. So now instead of exhausting the, the air straight out the back and blowing it all around the shop and making a big dust storm and blowing, because it's on the floor, it's blowing the dust that I haven't got to yet under machinery. Now it's not doing that. So it's much easier to clean up. It's much safer. And you know what? It impedes a little bit of the, the drawing power that this, the, the vacuum has. But you know what? Who cares? It's only a few minutes that you have it on and it still does a great job without making a mess in the meantime. Well, this concludes my video on dust collection hacks. And you know, dust collection is very individual. We all have different machines. We all have different kinds of woodworking that we do. So I hope you got some ideas that you'll be able to adapt in your shop. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.